welcome back guys, it's Kids Coding Playground here, and today we're back for another video of Scratch, and today we're making a very simple project called Dice Simulator. So, this project, um, you might want to code if you don't have a dice at home, or if you don't have a dice at your disposal, and you're playing a board game with your friends, and then you don't have a dice right now, so then you decide to... Get on your computer and go under Virtual Dice Dice Simulator. And um, I'm going to show you what this is. So let's click on the green flag. So just click on the green flag. You click on Tara, the person who's... Uh, and this is really cool because it also calculates, uh, if you don't know math, as your strongest subject. You click, and it goes by a six-sided dice. So... Um, if you want to make a 12-sided dice, you can if you want to. Uh, it's pretty simple. And uh, look, click on this. This is 5, right? So And it says 5. And then if you're playing a game where you move stuff, you'd move 5 places. Well, so that's basically what we have for you today. So I'm going to create a new project. Yeah. Create a new project and um, let's name this Dice Simulator. This is a beginner project and um it's beginner so like if you're a beginner just learning scratch you can make this project so yeah delete the scratch cat we never need the scratch cat go to your backpack and get the dice so remember guys you can go to my shared project and export the sprite and that's how you get the dice and dice one this die one die two and together they make dice so um, go, you can go to my project, my profile account is gumball098, and just get on my project and export these two sprites, export, and then you can download them and make them for your own project. So let's put them in such a position, and we have a good position set up, and we're going to get a backdrop, chalkboard, you can do any, uh, backdrop you want, but I'm just, I'm just going with the chalkboard and I think I use Terra I've never used Terra we use like Nico and all those people uh, but we haven't used Terra yet so it's interesting to use him so we put him over here and um, we're gonna work on Terra when the green flag is collect um, it'll go to X wherever it is and then it'll switch costume to Terra A because we're going to make him talk, the thing. Uh, so, yeah, costume A. Oh, yeah, delete costume D. This thing is useless. And um, when this sprite is clicked, it will set random 1. And random 1 is the first die. So, random 1 is the first die. So, random 1, dice 1. Same thing. So, uh, you set random 1, first dice to pick random one to six, because if you know, a dice has six sides. But if you're playing a game with 12 sided dice, you can change this to one to 12. Uh, and now we have set random to, oh, new variable, random two, two. And we do that. So the two dice, and then we broadcast roll, New message and wait and broadcast roll and wait and then say we have to go do the die one and die two first. So when the green flag is clicked, go to the position. Oh my gosh, it's really small. I have to zoom in. And when I receive roll, repeat 20 times. Uh, they'll switch costume to pick random one to six because there's six costumes on this dice one to six and they'll switch costume to random one which is whatever the random uh, roll you got now you drag that to die two and you have that we just have to make some tweaks and then we're done with random two. And when the green flag is clicked, it'll go to the position it is already at. 
and repeat 20 and instead switch costume to random two because that's the second dice i mean the second die and you go back to terra and we're going to finish up terra right now and when this sprite is clicked broadcast roll and wait and then you'll say whatever random one or two is because what is one say random one what is one uh oh, oh yeah you have to have a plus fair a uh, plus operator first so random one and then you have a random two so we have these two so it'll say whatever plus whatever of these two to make whatever you roll and now we have to make them talk so when i receive roll I'll switch costume to Terra A and repeat six times. This is just an estimated number to make a good type of thing. So repeat six. We, we have three costumes, so it'll repeat against the same costume twice. So we have that, and it'll be next costume. And we have a wait 0 0.2 seconds. And we are done with the code. So, um, oh yeah, one more thing. We have to write dice simulator in the back. This is optional, but, you know, makes it look better. And convert to vector, this thing. Use any color you want. My favorite color is just blue, so I decided to do that. And handwriting is my favorite one. It's perfectly. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. Oh, more up. Okay. There we go. We just have to hide the variables and then we're good. We're all set. So we go here and variables and bam, bam. And now we have dice simulator. And now let's test it out. So green flag is clicked, Terra A. See the dice simulator. You see these two die. Click on him. Four. And click on him, and he does all these costumes to look like he's talking. Seven, and that's ten. So we have um, this set. So please like, share, subscribe, and comment in the comment section below whatever games you want, so we can make it, and so you can code it. And uh, see you guys next time.